Welcome to Linking Blend Files, Making a Proxy. In this video, you will learn more about linking data blocks, understand what is happening when you link, realize that when, realizing, of course, when you need to use a proxy. We've already got some issues at the moment that we can't move our linked objects. Perhaps that's a clue of what's coming next. So about making a proxy, what is happening in the background is it creates a new object that is a parent of the linked data. And what that in turn allows us to do is transformation of an object. It allows us to edit the parent, the new object that's been created, the proxy object that's been created, and that allows us to do things like scale, move, rotate, etc. And it also allows us to change the object properties of the parent, which in turn will modify the linked data. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as the linked file. It is identical to the source file that you brought in to Blender. The object data blocks is linked to the original and any dependent data blocks as well. So if you've got, uh, you will probably have a mesh data in there, but you might have imported a lamp, so that won't be there, but that will have light properties. So in a mesh data, when you brought that in, so you will have the object data block, you will probably have a mesh data block along with that. And if you've got materials applied to that, those will come across and any textures as well. So let's go experience making a proxy over in Blender. Okay, of course, we're on our way to Blender at the moment. And first of all, we need to make the commit message. What we're going to do in this case, it's going to be the title of the video that I'm doing. And in your case, it's going to be uh, making my linked objects a proxy or something along those lines. Or, of course, if you're working on something else in between, remember to give it an appropriate name so you know what you've done. Right, now that that is done, uh, we're ready to hop on over into Blender. I just want to say at this point, this is going to be the last time I'm actively going to be showing you Source Tree working in the background. I'll just be doing this as I progress. Please do continue making your commits whenever you make major changes to your model. It's going to allow you to go back if you have a problem. We'll be visiting how to go back in a future lecture, so don't worry about that. That's still coming. But otherwise, you won't see much of Source Tree from now onwards. Right, so now we're back over in Blender. We've got a series of linked objects, and we can see in the outliner that they're linked because they have this little bit of paper on them with the arrow, which means they're linked to a, another Blend file. And we can't see anything at the moment because we shoved them all onto Layer 2. So let's go over to Layer 2 now. That's looking pretty good. And we need to make these things a proxy which will allow us to move them and therefore construct our church from these pieces or your interior building if you're working on something different. So I'm going to select that now. This is an object operation, so we can go down to the object menu. And if we go up here, we've got make proxy. It's about halfway down the menu. And you can see the shortcuts there are control, alt, and p. When we do that, we get an OK message. So we have to click again. And now it is a proxy. So we can see here that it's ever so slightly different. It's been renamed underscore proxy. And if we open it up, it's got a little bit of a hierarchy. We've got the linked church vault mesh down here and the linked object there as well. So this is great. This is showing us that it is a proxy. It's renamed it for us. And now, of course, what we can't do with any of the others is move it about and translate it in our world. We can even rotate it and scale it. Of course, what we do have to be careful with is the whole scaling thing. And that's one of the reasons why I've made a series of church floors here. Because later on, when I go to apply a texture to those floors or walls or wherever, if I decide to scale that object, so for instance, the church floor that's 2x2 two two can quite easily be scaled to fit either 2x4 or 4x4. However, the textures will also stretch. So with the church floor 4x4, what we'd have to do is remap the textures. But if we've got the original object already mapped properly, and we're going to that soon, then we don't have to worry about stretching it and re rejigging all of the texture mapping to sort that out. So that's why I've got a series of objects there. Um, with the walls and everything else, I think I'm going to be fine with the settings that I've got. I'm just going to undo the movement that I've done with this particular um, 
church vault here. And of course, I've got a very quick challenge for you guys. I would like you to proxy your linked files. So make the rest of your linked objects proxies in your scene. Pause the video now and give that a go. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's go make those other linked files proxies. So I'm gonna hop into Blender and here we go. Now I am just going, I've not tried this. I'm gonna try selecting all of these going to object and make proxy. No, it's only done the selected one. So I'm gonna do control alt and p, make proxy. Control alt and p, make proxy. Select it, control alt and p, make proxy. Make sure your cursor is not over the outline of it, over the 3D editor window itself. Otherwise your shortcut key is not going to work. If I try and use it whilst I'm still over the outliner, it's not gonna do anything. So make sure you're over the 3D editor window. And there we go, all of these have been made proxies. Finally, I need to make sure I've saved my blend file. And then if I hop on over into source tree, I can see my unlimited changes which will be my gothic church blend file which is the scene i'm creating and my readme updating what i've done perfect so let's stage those files go to commit and of course the name is correct there hit commit and we're sorted brilliant how did you guys get on well, we're almost ready now to start constructing our church but we've got one more thing to learn about when it comes to linking files and that's so we can have some more control over these files locally within this blend file. But we'll be discussing that in the next lecture.